Hey there and welcome back to X1, this is Josh West and I'm here to tell you all about Evolve, the latest cooperative focused effort from Left 4 Dead creators Turtle Rock Studios. If you're watching this video, there's a fairly good chance that you've got one of two all important Xbox related queries on your mind. Firstly, how does Master Chief go number two in his Majornia armor? I mean, it took two dudes to calibrate the damn thing in a combat Evolved, how would it even get the thing off on a ring world? And secondly, perhaps more importantly, Evolve. Is it any good? Usually we'd have no problem offering you a resolute answer, but Evolve? Well, it's a tricky game to get your head around. While we aren't quite ready to offer up our final review verdict just yet, you know what? We want to see how the game survives in its natural Xbox Live habitat first. We did think you might be interested in an early impression before you leap onto your Xbox, clear some hard drive space, and get that download rolling. We've actually come to quite a sad realization about Evolve. It's only fun for about 60 seconds. Let that sink in. That's the amount of time the Trapper's mobile arena is active. That's how long you and your group of misfit hunters will be trapped within shooting distance of the behemoth player controlled monster. It's here where Evolve springs to life. You're playing as a hunter, you'll see the true strength of your group in action. Each member, that's the Trapper, Assault, Medic, and support will have to use each of their ability, skills, and weapons in tandem together as a unit to bring the monster to its knees. Meanwhile, of course, this is the perfect opportunity for the player controlling the monster to basically hulk out, go crazy, and murderize everything in sight. There is no escape as long as that bubble shield is active, so you may as well go into it to win. The Goliath is ridiculously entertaining to control in these situations. Trying to juggle four enemies at the same time while managing your ability cooldowns and positioning is a tough but rewarding exercise in domination. The same goes for the Hunters. The shoot mechanics are a marked improvement over Left 4 Dead and fulfilling your role appropriately within the group is a satisfying experience. So why is it only fun for 60 seconds? Mainly because you're going to spend a lot of time playing Hunt that's one of the game modes. In fact, really, it's the premier game mode, the one which you get the feeling Totorok hinged everything on and then built an entire full praise experience around. It's 4v1, hunt will be hunted. The problem here is that you can essentially spend 5, 10, sometimes even 15 minutes as the hunters running around in circles. Not doing anything, just running. Any slightly adept monster can evade detection until they reach Evolve Stage 3, and then it's basically game over, man, game over. And so you spend your 10 minutes running around a beautiful looking prison, following the Trapper character and hoping the constant alerts popping up on your screen are actually signals towards the monster and not just another board player being an asshole. You might occasionally stop running to shoot wildlife out of boredom, or perhaps you might even need to stand still to let your jetpack recharge, but even those riveting activities can't hide the fact that you're still just running around in circles. It's worth mentioning that this isn't much better for the monster either, only an idiot would attack before evolving up, so you spend those 5-10 minutes sneaking around, munching on some wildlife and selecting your powers. To be honest, it's a bit of a snore fest. But then, eventually, it all comes together. The monster meets the hunters. The glorious bubble shield locks you into a deadly battle, and there can only emerge one. Well, if you're playing as the hunters 4, but victors. For those glorious 60 seconds, Evolve becomes one of the most breathtaking action experiences of the year. It's just a shame that everything else surrounding it is so boring that it's a wonder how it ever made it past the conceptual stage at Turtle Rock's offices. Of course, all of this might change once the chaos of Xbox Live rears its head, but we're not that confident. Still, this is just an early impression. You can expect a full review of Evolve and a few survival guides later in the week, so don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to hear more from X1. Believe me, it really helps. Cheers for watching, guys, and we'll see you online.